With the Z Modeler brush selected, hover over an edge and press spacebar to open up the Z Modeler Edge Action menu. Locate the Q Mesh action. With the Q Mesh action selected, you'll have a series of targets and then some modifiers down below. To start off, let's select the edge target. Returning to our model and simply hovering over an edge and then clicking and dragging will produce the Q Mesh action on that edge. Now when you're hovering over an edge, you'll also notice that the poly next to an edge will become highlighted. This will determine the direction in which the Q Mesh action will be applied. So if I hover over this edge here and this poly is highlighted, clicking and dragging will produce the Q Mesh action in that direction. If I undo that and then hover over the edge again so this poly is highlighted, the QMesh action will be performed in that direction. Another thing to notice is the difference between the QMesh action and the Extrude action. The QMesh action will actually perform a smart fusion or weld to any adjacent QMesh edges. So if I come across this edge here and QMesh this out like so, as I'm dragging this out, you'll notice that it will snap and fuse to the actual adjacent surface there. Now this has actually welded this area completely with the model. So I can come through and apply this Q Mesh Edge action to different areas on my model and then create different effects like this. Undoing this and then hovering back over an edge and pressing spacebar to go back into the Z Modeler Edge Action menu, we have a few more targets down here. We have the target of Edge Loop Partial. With this target selected, any edge you click on, ZBrush will use as the target until it reaches an extraordinary point or a point that is not connected by four edges. So this point right here is connected by one, two, three edges. So when I actually come over and click on this edge here, ZBrush is going to look at this entire edge loop until it reaches this point. So hovering over this edge and making sure I have this poly highlighted and then clicking and dragging will produce the QMesh edge action in this direction. Undoing that again and then hovering back over the edge, we have a few more targets. We can come through and apply the actual edge QMesh action to the entire poly loop. So by having this target selected and then hovering over an edge, this entire poly loop here will have that QMesh action applied to it. We can also come through and do it by the full edge loop or the edge loop complete, which will ignore the extraordinary point. So I can come through here and apply it like so and generate quick kind of ridging effects on the surface of my model. Undoing that and then going back into the ZModeler Edge Action menu, we have one last target which is Polygroup Island. With this target selected, ZBrush is going to look at the Polygroup Island on your model and then actually apply the Extrude QMesh action to the edges of that actual polygroup. So if I come over here and hover over this edge right here and make sure I have this poly highlighted and clicking and dragging, we'll perform the QMesh Edge action like so. So in addition to actually just applying this QMesh action and a straight kind of angle, we can also apply rotational values to that. So I come down here to the modifiers and select rotate to 15 degrees with the edge loop partial target selected, and then return to my model and hover over this edge and click and drag, you'll see that the QMesh action is being applied, and as I apply it out, it is actually rotating in 15 degree intervals. If I undo that and go back in the menu here, we can also set custom rotational values as well. So if I want to rotate that edge at 45 degree angles with that Q mesh action and come across the edge now and then click and drag and I'll rotate at 45 degree intervals. So using this Q mesh edge action, you can come through and start manipulating different edges on your models to generate different shapes and designs.